What's up? My name's Josh, but I go by Resurrection. Growing up and living in the Bay Area my You're entire amazing. life, I wanted to share my love and appreciation of Northern California. The Bay Area's population has about 7.77 million people and still counting to this day. If you've never been to the Bay Area, it's well known for its rich diversity, culture, food, music, sports, and so much more. By watching this series of segments that I take great pride in making, I hope you'll join me on my journey and get to know me a lot better. Welcome to the Bay, the segment that I dedicated to the Bay Area, California. This is where I'm from. Yo, what's going on YouTube fams? I'm your guy Rez, and you already know I am back again with y'all on my channel for another episode of Welcome to the Bay. Welcome back, y'all. So in this video today, I'm just pretty much giving my flowers out to one of my favorite players in the NHL and one of two of my favorite players of all time who played for the San Jose Sharks, none other than Patty Patrick Marlowe. So last night at the SAP Center slash Shark Tank, February 25th, 2023, for the first time, the San Jose Sharks made history for their organization by retiring a jersey number of a player, none other than Patrick Marlowe. So it was a very historical night. Unfortunately, I wasn't physically there because Tickets sold out and the event was super expensive at the time, but you know, I was able to bring home a piece of history that night, which was basically less than 24 hours ago. And it's here, it's here in my possession. It's gonna be in my collection here. And I'm very excited to share with y'all what it is. So uh, without further ado guys, I do want to share this. I'm trying to be careful with this because this is a really nice poster right here of Patrick Marlowe and this poster was actually given uh, to fans who attended the event last night for the ceremony of Patrick Marlowe. So, so I do apologize for the glare guys. Uh, my light is shining off it so I'll try and angle it in a way where you don't get blinded by the glare. But yeah, this poster is really nice guys. Um, I believe it is uh, 16 by 24 or 24 by 16. And uh, as you can see, this was just commemorating Patrick Marlowe's NHL career um, by having a giant um, image here of Marlowe. And we just have these really, really nice images of him throughout the years in different types of uniforms. Majority of them San Jose Sharks, I say proudly, because he spent the majority of his career here in the city of San Jose. I really like this poster, man. If you look closely, you could see Marlowe's last name in the shadows in the background of that teal. Really cool. And then on this part right here, you could just see the progression and evolution of Patrick Marlowe. You know, back when he was a rookie, I believe he got drafted in 97. And then you could see he's still wearing number 14 in that uniform there, but you just see it progressing throughout the years. This is one of my favorite uniforms of the Sharks and then also just seeing, you know, the uniforms progress over the years. And of course, you know, they put in the uniforms when he was with the Pittsburgh Penguins and then also the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then of course, finishing his career back in San Jose. And then you have this giant image of Marlowe in a Sharks uniform as a he should be <laughs> because, you know, I feel like a, this is pretty much him in his career in full circle, man, coming back home to finish it out in San Jose. So this is a really cool poster. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where you don't realize what kind of history is being made at that exact moment in time. You know, as, as fans, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a weird feeling to see players, you know, progress, go through their history throughout their career and you pretty much feel like you're a part of that you know we are a part of that me as a fan and everybody else you know you grow you get attached to these players careers and stuff like that and uh, i know that sounds cliche but it's the truth man because like looking at that image with marlo and different sharks uniforms and just overall throughout his career i could always pinpoint at that exact moment in time where i was in my life and i think that's what draws a lot of people to sports and also with players and stuff like that. Like, I don't know Marlo personally, seeing how he, you know, progressed and achieved and broke history even with the Sharks while he was playing. You know, obviously he beat Gordie Howe's record when he was in the Sharks. That's what matters to me. And I could pinpoint that like it was yesterday, you know, like, oh, you know, when he broke the record, I was actually doing this. 
at this time. It's just those significant moments that really make you feel like nostalgic. It's just a great moment to be a sports fan, to be a Sharks fan. You know, I know the Sharks are not doing great, <laughs> you know, but nonetheless, I ride or die with my teams, man. And this is a, a very historical moment for me, man. So that poster, I hope one day I can meet Marlo in person, shake his hand, maybe get that poster signed because, you know, he and Joe Thornton are two of my favorite Sharks players of all time. Uh, and then Joe Pavelski comes in a shy third, but you know, uh, they all played in the same teams around the same time. So, you know, to see those players where they're at now in their careers, you know, with Marlo retiring, it's, it's sad, man. Like it just goes to show for one, how old I'm getting. And also just like, it, it brings back, it brings a tear in my eye, tears of joy. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that poster. I thought it would be pretty dope to share with y'all on the channel. The one thing, the one complaint that I had was that the Sharks lost last night <laughs> during the game against the Chicago Blackhawks, man. Uh, during Marlowe's emotional night, man. It, it sucks when I see stuff like that, you know? Like I would love for the team that's celebrating whatever they're doing with their organization win that night, but they didn't win. Sharks fashion, man. <laughs> um, share your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about this pickup right here. Let me know what you guys think about Marlowe's retirement ceremony last night. Did you guys watch, you know, the uh, the game? Did you guys watch the event? You know, and then also if you're from San Jose, let me know how the uh, experience was being there because I would have loved to have been there. I would love to have been that fly on that wall, you know, just listening to that conversation in person. I thought I. I feel like that would be like a really, really historical feeling. I'm sure it is. And I'm sure it was for a lot of people. So share your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end the video now because I don't want to ramble on too much. But I uh, hope you guys enjoy that video and pick up. Until then, Shark Tank, we out. Boy Rez, we'll see you all very soon. Peace.